What's going on Pisces? I hope you are doing very well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a love reading for the rest of February 2022. So in this reading Pisces, we're going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you here in February. We're going to take a look at their true intentions towards you here and much more. So you are all most definitely very welcome here in this space with me Pisces as we go through the reading. Thanks a lot for taking the time to drop by and check out the reading. I do really appreciate it. If you find that it resonates with you, Pisces, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. I would also really appreciate that. So without further ado here, Pisces, let's go ahead and jump into your February love energy. Give me a moment here and I'm going to pull the energy and see what wants to come through. As always, I'd like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for Pisces. Two more here, two more. All right, let's see what we got going on here for you, Pisces. Give me a moment and we'll lay out the cards. Okay. All right, let's get into it here for you, Pisces. So in the area of your person's feelings towards you here in February, we have the lovers, the seven of cups, and also the justice card in their feelings towards you here. So this is definitely a good card to see whether you're single or in a relationship with this person. Certainly this person does have a strong feeling towards you. For many of you, I do feel Pisces that this person believes that this is a soulmate relationship with the lovers. Um, there's almost there. This could be a very special connection for some of you and how they feel about you. But if you're single, right, you have the seven of cups energy here, um, in their feelings as well with the justice card. So there could be, although they have these strong feelings, you know, a lot of uncertainty about the future, a lot of choices that have to be made, you know, whether you're in a relationship with this person or not, Pisces, the seven of cups coming out here in their feelings. Um, it seems you may be at a choice point, like the energy is going to shift between the two of you. For a lot of you, I do feel intuitively like this person is, they're undecided because the centerpiece to your reading is the two of pentacles as well. So this person could be very undecided, although these feelings are there for them. Um, so we're going to have to clarify to really see Pisces, but you also have the justice card here in their feelings uh, for you. So this is a really good card to see. I think, um, you know, if you're dealing with someone in, in a committed relationship, I think this says that this person wants to do you right. Um, for a lot of you though, that are single, I feel in the feelings with the justice card, like this person feels like they are destined to be with you. Like somehow you balance out their reality, like you coming in, like it makes their past make sense to them. If that makes sense here, um, in their feelings as well, they might, someone might be trying to be careful here, especially if you're single, um, with the justice card, like you may be still dealing with someone in a third party and the person could be unsure. So they're trying to, with the justice card, whoever you are, it could indicate that this person is going to try to do the right thing. If that makes sense here, um, they could be, you know, so that's just what I sense, you know, just to start us off here, Pisces, but let's move down here to, uh, your person's intentions towards you. You have the chariot, the two of pentacles, and also the three of 
wands here, which is super interesting. Um, for a lot of you who are dealing with this person and you're kind of single, you're just talking to this person, I do sense there's an outcome where this person rushes towards you even though they don't feel fully ready, right? The two of pentacles, they could have another choice and like they eventually make a choice uh, about you here because this is their intention. The chariot and their intention, they feel very, it's right underneath the lover's card. So they feel divinely protected to come towards you. This is a major arcana card. So their intention, um, I think it's at a very deep level because you have all these major arcana cards, Pisces. So this person is going to come towards you even if there's some sort of uh, practical reason not to. I don't think the practical side of life is really going to hold them back here because it's almost like they can... Um, you know, this person may be good at manifesting because you have the three of wands here in their intention. So their, their intention is to bring you in on a vibrational level, I feel. Some of you definitely are Pisces dealing with a very conscious individual who's aware of things like soulmates, things like manifestation bringing you in. Um, so it's, it's a good feeling overall, no matter who you are in this relationship. But then we move down here to... Uh, this is the advice, actually, from your spirit guides dealing with this person for the, for the rest of the month in February. You have the Page of Cups, the Moon, and also the Three of Cups here. So despite this kind of shady energy, right, the Two of Pentacles, this middle row, despite that, there, there's too much prospect for this to not go through. So the Page of Cups to the Three of Cups in the advice position from your spirit guides, Pisces, with a chariot here. You know, this is to at least give this person a shot, okay? So if you're dealing with this person and you're single, um, let them kind of like initiate. Maybe they're going to take you out on a date, right? The three of cups to the page of cups is a very fun, innocent energy. So have an innocent heart when you move towards this is I, I think what spirit is saying. Um, you do have the moon, which I think intuitively, I don't know why this is coming through Pisces, but they're saying like, you're never really going to know if this is the right person for you unless you move towards them. Now, for those of you in a relationship, you're never really going to know if this is the right person for you unless you give them another chance. Okay. If you're in a relationship and the energy has been very harsh. I think with the Page of Cups to the Three of Cups, you have to know yourself, but it's to lighten up the energy somehow. Some of you may be thinking about leaving a long-term commitment here, um, but definitely lighten up on yourself no matter who you are here, Pisces, in that. So with that being said, we're going to clarify a few of these cards and then we're going to move on um, to other things. But the first card that we're going to clarify is this Lover's card. Why is this here in the person's feelings towards you? Any information on that, please? Oh, we have a jumper right off the bat, which is the exhaustion card in their feelings. So for a lot of you, this person is overthinking about you. Um, they're, they're pretty much exhausted, especially if you're not physically with this person yet, Pisces. I think this person is exhausting themselves, like almost obsessing over you and their feelings. Like it's such a strong pull here that they could feel exhausted. Now, for those of you in a relationship, I do sense it's a little bit different, Pisces, where maybe... Um, Maybe the, the love is actually exhausting within the relationship, and so this person is thinking about something else. So you have to know yourself, who you are, whether you're single or not, Pisces, but exhaustion to the lover. So this is, no matter who you are, it's a very intense love, right? Almost like a twin flamey type of energy, potentially. Let's also go ahead and clarify this Seven of Cups, though. Um, why is this Seven of Cups here for Pisces and the person's feelings for the rest of February? Okay, the Seven of Cups is clarified by the Ripeness card here, uh, the Nine of Pentacles in this deck. So you have the number nine popping out twice. There's certainly a cycle going on here. Um, you know, the ripeness card is I feel like this person is very afraid of missing out on an opportunity to be with you here. No matter who you are, Pisces, I think this person is very afraid of making the wrong choice in regards to you. Because this intention is this connection between the two of you is so strong. Um, they almost feel like you're the best option, but maybe they're having a hard time admitting that to themselves, right? Because you have the moon and the two of pentacles. For some of you, you just don't know. It's an intuition. But when you guys come together, it's almost like for those of you who are single, when you come together physically, all the questions about whether or not you're the right person are going to vanish. I do sense a really good thing happening. Like the problem with this connection, especially for those of you single, it's like the problem is when you're not together. When you actually come together weirdly enough i sense it going really good okay we also have the justice card in their feelings remember that um but let's move down here to their intention let's go ahead and see why the chariot is here 
in their intention towards you for the rest of February, uh, Pisces. You know, the number nine popping out twice. If this person, if you're single, going into a relationship could start a new cycle for you, right? They could be letting go of one. You could be letting go of an old one. Um, but let's see, why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here in their intention for Pisces? Okay, the chariot is clarified by the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups, you know, it doesn't necessarily represent like actually having your ideal reality. It's like a vision for it, right? So this person believes this soul connection is going to deliver them ultimate harmony. It's kind of hitting on that theme that I was touching on before where it's like there's no one that compares to you. Like you're the ultimate thing for them, even though they have a hard time admitting that to, that, to themselves, even if you're in a relationship with them. Um, for those of you in a relationship, this looks good though. Like they're trying to restore some sort of long term, right? The number ten is all about like um, kind of completion, but it's also it could represent like a, like kind of like a dynasty, like a very long term successful uh, thing going on. So I like this person is coming towards you because of all the potential here. Okay, so just be aware of that, Pisces. I do like how this looks for sure. Now let's go ahead and confront the elephant in the room um, and clarify why is this two of pentacles here. For Pisces here um, in their intention, right? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Okay, the two of pentacles of the centerpiece to your reading is clarified interesting interestingly enough by the three of wands in this deck is called the experiencing card um so in their intention for you they're really focused right now on like the most positive outcome like they're really focused on visualizing this like focusing on the best possible outcome because right now there could be something that's like separating you that's blocking this most likely outcome from happening this positive timeline so this person is really in their intention they're holding in their heart like a very positive vision for you. They just feel natural to be with you, right? The experiencing card in this deck is also about connecting with nature, Pisces. Um, so even though they're unsure, they just have this intuition. Like there's almost like a practical unsureness, but when it comes down to the soul level, they're all there. Um, so let's go ahead and move on down here to the advice from your spirit guides and start clarifying some of that. Let's see why this three of uh, cups is here in the advice. I think this will give you some details as to why spirit wants you to move towards them or any other piece of information we need to know regarding why the three of cups is here, please. Okay, the Three of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Consciousness card. So once again, similar theme with this Three of Wands repeating. Good prospects, like this person just knows that you guys are gonna have a great time together. The Consciousness card is all about a deep knowing, an intuitive knowing that's just like an utter clarity. Like there's no, there's no doubting it. They know that you guys are gonna have a phenomenal time together. Whether you're in a relationship or not, they have a lot of faith that you can restore this as well for some of you with the Three of Cups. So it's a beautiful energy of faith and hope, I would say this reading is all about. This person certainly for you, Pisces, um, has a lot of, like a very high opinion of you. So they're, they're willing to go through this shit to make it work. So let's also clarify this moon. Why is the moon card here for Pisces in the advice from spirit? 
you know, be willing to go into the unknown, I think, is what they're saying. Realize your subconscious mind creates your reality. If this person is holding a high vision for you, make sure you do the same, and then you can easily, harmoniously uh, meet up at the same vibration. Because remember, anything that comes into your life is due to your vibration, Pisces. So maybe you need to meet this person halfway if they're putting in the, the vibrational work to be with you, if that makes sense. Um, but let's see, why is the moon card here? Okay, the moon card is clarified by the awareness card, Pisces, awareness. So um, yeah, the advice is like, even though you have this awareness that this is a very unknown thing going with this person, jump into that. Like if this relationship causes you pain, it's actually cause for celebration because you can learn something about your preferences and the universe always learns something about itself through your own exp conscious experience. So go into this. I would always say it's worth it to risk for love. Um, so even though you know there's potential pitfalls here, it just looks too good to ignore is really what the message is. I might title this video that it's too, this love is too good to ignore, um, Pisces. But let's go ahead and get some closing messages for you from Spirit. This is just going to be anything that Spirit wants to let you know, especially having said everything that I've said up until this point. What else does Pisces need to know is some closing messages regarding this person in love for February. Let's go ahead and see. Two more messages for Pisces, please. Okay. Interesting energy Pisces here. So the first card that wants to come out is helpful people. So there may be key individuals that may be related to this person socially that could really help you here. Having people on your side, learning how can I get in the proper vibration. Even me, like as a tower reader, I'm a helpful person. So keep utilizing helpful people if that makes sense in any way that makes sense to you. Now you have recovery. And I think this is crucial because you may need to take time out for yourself before you're truly ready to jump into this because I think this could be such a life-changing relationship also if you're in a relationship with this person already this is the recovery phase of your relationship where i do sense there's going to turn around um now you also have it's up to you so this is f like all about your free will realize that nothing like you have free will you can do whatever you want so it's up to you however much energy you put into this is the outcome that you're going to get like a reflection of the energy so this person i do sense pisces is putting in the energetic work so it's up to you if you want to meet them halfway the green light is there for you pisces i really do believe that so if you want more information on the situation feel free to book a personal reading with me pisces you can find all the information on that in the description box underneath the video if you're interested it's always a pleasure to work with you guys but it's always a pleasure to do these readings in general so thank you so so much for watching this if you've made it to this point you guys are truly amazing i hope you enjoyed it i hope you have a great february and definitely come back next week because i am uploading your march videos pretty soon here so have a good one pisces talk to you later